Hello, I am back in the shed. I have finished making my humongous robot in my living room, much to the displeasing of the wife. Uh, why am I making it in the living room? Some of you have been asking, because I don't want to be here in the shed at all hours. Um, I've been staying up till like probably five, six o'clock in the morning for a few nights in a row and it's just nicer to be in the living room with a big old TV with various other maker videos on in the background rather than being all lonely in my little shed here. So um, yeah, that's why I was doing that. Um, where is Ed though? There's no Ed in here. Ed is in the van, we're gonna get him out. But um, before we do that, I just wanna show you a couple of bits I bought. I've been shopping. So what do we have here? We've got some like hoses and some armature wire, some paint brushes, paint, these little doohickeys. Uh, what else we got in here? Some of these braided hoses, which are for plumbing, but not for me. Some more wires and things. Uh, a thing on shopping is, I've been going to various places, like Halfords for these bits and bobs. I've got these in Hobby Craft Wicks. Um, make sure you get yourself a trade card. Yeah, I was spending like 50 quid in Halfords, 50 quid in Wicks. Um, B&Q is where I went into. Make sure you get yourself a trade card, because you get like 10% off. Um, you don't need to be like actually in the uh, automotive industry or a builder or nothing. All I had to do when I registered for my trade card was go in there, show them my Facebook page and go, yeah, yeah, I'll make costumes and props. Look, I've got a legit t-shirt and everything. And there's like, oh, and they gave me a trade card and I'll get 10% of everything. So yeah, make sure you get a trade card. It takes like five minutes. You go in there and go, yeah, I'm in the trade. I'm a legit prop maker or whatever. And then uh, they give you this card and boom, save loads of money. Well, as you can see, there's loads of mess in here. So I'm not going to bring Eddie in just yet. I'm going to have a bit of a tidy up. And then I'm thinking, as it's a nice day outside, I might take Ed out into the garden and set him up for real so we can get a 360 walk around. And that'll also give me a better idea of where to put all these hoses and pipes and whatnot. Also, check this out. Inside the back is just, oh, just enough space to fit all these elbow pieces and shoulder pieces, which, of course, I planned that. And here he is in all his glory. I was worried whilst building this that it wouldn't have as much of a menacing presence as is seen in the film, but just looking at it, it definitely looks like it wants to kill you. It stands probably a little over seven feet tall. It's slightly taller than it would be because I've had to put it on a piece of wood that's raised up with some beams because my garden isn't flat. But yeah, he's definitely uh, tall and posing and looks like he wants to shoot people, which is the idea. I haven't shrunk, I am sitting down. I have been grafting for ages, it's 1am, and I'm still here in the shed. The wife should be happy that uh, I'm not in the living room taking up loads of space, and I'm actually in my my uh, workshop shed thing. Um, and I'm still working on it, let's have a look at what I've done. Right, so, um, yeah, there's lots of bits everywhere. You may notice that some of the bits a little bit grey and that's because I've painted them and turns out that primer with some lacquer on top is pretty much the uh, perfect colour that's the colour I'm going for the model is slightly blue but it isn't slightly blue in the film it is definitely flat grey in the film so I'm going for flat grey with a bit of gloss kind of like a satin grey which is what the primer with uh, lacquer on top of it looks like so I'm happy with that now these bolt things are what I'm doing at the moment and what I'm doing for that is I'm taking this little bit of copper pipe that I filed to sharpen up and I'm using that and screwing that a couple of mil into the foam and I'm taking a bolt that I've butchered and stuck in the end of my soldering iron here and I'm pressing that into the foam for about 10 seconds or so and the result is this little socket screw thingy my bobs that look like they hold the thing together um, yeah all of these pieces have been heat sealed with a heat gun the only bits that haven't is the body the pelvis and the lower legs over there that's because they're all the way over there and I'm comfortable in my chair so what I'm doing now is I'm just gonna do the bits that I can reach 
and then get up I suppose and then do the last bits and I'm probably going to call it a night after that because painting in the dark isn't fun and neither is painting in a confined space. Well it's 4am and I am finally done for the day. I've done all of the stupid little bolt things as you can see here and there's loads of them. It's not even funny how many of them there are and I couldn't resist finishing up one of the shoulders. So the idea is to do everything grey and then do the bolt things, kind of a uh, gunmetal colour with a dark grey insert. And they look like that. So the whole thing's going to look like that, which is pretty cool. But that's a job for another day because I've been at this now for 19 hours straight. So I'm going to go sleep.